everyone, today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look. It's a glossy gold eye and it is perfect for the summer, um, so if you're interested, just keep watching. So I'm starting off by getting my hair out of my face and applying my Tarte Maracuja oil on my lips for a little lip treatment. This oil can be applied everywhere and is really good at keeping my skin moisturized. Then I'm going in with my Too Faced Hangover Primer, which I use all the time in the summer to keep my skin hydrated. My brows are the first thing that I do when starting my makeup. I found that it's just a lot easier to do my brows first because it gives me a good basis for the rest of my makeup. And I'm using Benefit's Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencils and just filling in the sparse areas. And to set them and make sure they stay in place, I use Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel. Moving on to concealer, I am loving the Chanel Le Corrector and I'm in the shade 20 beige. And to apply it, I just kind of make streaks everywhere. Before I blend the concealer, I'm taking a flat brush and concealing my brows first. Now for foundation, Fenty Beauty has been my number one go-to foundations. It's super full coverage and has a matte finish and it's amazing at covering my hyperpigmentation and my acne scars. Now I just have a pretty big vein on my eyelid so I'm taking a little leftover foundation and covering that up. So with this foundation, you really don't have to set it with powder, but since it's just a force of habit, I'm taking my Chanel Natural Finish Loose Powder in the shade Translucent 2 and setting my foundation. I love this powder because it's lightweight and lasts me for months and months. Taking Benefits Dallas, I'm just going to contour my cheeks a little and the tip of my nose. Lastly. I'm dusting off all the excess powder with a big fluffy brush. For blush, I'm using my Glossier Cloud Paint in the shade Dusk. And this color is a pretty dusty rose and I'm just using my fingers to blend everything. For my eyes, I'm actually using a ColourPop highlight in the shade Churro to achieve the glossy lid look. And I'm placing the eyeshadow in the shape of a rectangle. To make my lash line a little bit more defined, I'm adding some dark brown eyeshadow with an angled brush to create a soft wing. Lastly, to complete this look, I'm taking my Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer in the shade 002 and applying that to my cheekbones, the tip, and the bridge of my nose. And so this is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!